Good afternoon, comrades, and welcome to Google Maps Reviews in Siberia, which is a vast geographic region in northern Russia. Look, life is a little bit different in northern Russia, very isolated from the rest of the world. Uh, there's one train that goes across all of Siberia that takes six nights and seven days to get from one side to the other. So there's a lot of these tiny little communities scattered throughout Siberia with very small restaurants, very small stores, very small communities, and some very, very funny Google Maps reviews. I found this restaurant called Burger Kit, which I guess is like Burger King if you live in this town. Burger Kit is located in Litsa Petra Alexevia Sakha Republic, Russia. If you've been there, let me know in the comments below. And a name written in Russian characters that I can't pronounce, but if I could pronounce it, it looks like in English it would be pronounced Konbuka. Konbuka says this, One day, I arrived in the morning. According to the regime, the burger car should be open. In the end, they didn't open it. I died of hunger. Like I said, life here is a little bit different. It's a little bit harsher, okay? Us cushy Americans couldn't understand how it works here. You show up to Burger Kit one day in the morning, probably traveled by train all night just to go get your next meal at the Burger Kit, and you know that the regime says that this restaurant should be open at this time, but then the regime doesn't open it. All hail the regime, die of hunger. And can I just say, rest in peace, to Kanbuka. Kanbuka, rest in peace. Next up, we have a restaurant called Baklan, and Baklan is located in Chukotka Autonomous Okrug, Russia. What I want you to notice about these reviews is that the owner responds to some of the negative reviews. Now, we've seen this before. If you've watched any of the videos on this channel, owners often respond and say, hey, I'm so sorry you had a bad experience at my restaurant. What can I do to make it right? Long John Silvers has a history of responding to bad reviews with ahoy there, and then apologizing for the experience you had and seeing what they could do to make it right. But this owner in Northern Russia is a little bit different in how he responds to negative reviews. For example, this person whose Russian name looks like it's pronounced in English as ahapen, ahapen says this, now called fed dad. You can eat, service, food quality could be improved. The owner responds, go for a walk, he doesn't like the service. It's a bold move. I mean, you have a small town restaurant, you're trying to get people to come in, and somebody just says, hey, four stars, service could be improved. Go for a walk, homie. Go for a walk, a hot, a hot pen. And even five star reviews on this restaurant, this owner is mad about if they criticize anything. So for example, this person, whose Russian name in English looks like it's pronounced, Bene and Manup says this, five stars, cool, food and drink are expensive, but clearly, and the owner responds, and look at the prices in the city. It's just anything you criticize about Baklan, the owner's gonna have something to say, and this is probably the best one that I'm about to tell you. Russian name that looks like Bopnik, Bopnik says this, one star, terrible. The owner responds, and instead of saying, so sorry you had this experience, what can we do to make it right, like a wimpy American, this Russian, in the cold, harsh winter of northern Siberia, simply says, go eat your oats, dog. I just want you to imagine that this happened in America. This would be incredible if Chipotle, somebody left a bad review and they responded, go eat your oats, dog. I mean, this, this is life. This man is living life. He owns this restaurant. He knows he can absorb the consequences. Too bad for you. I just have one thing to say to the haters out there who like to hate on my videos. Um, I just want to leave a response from the owner of this channel. And that is simply this. Go eat your oats, dog. Next up, we have a review from our friend whose name looks like it's pronounced Inbo. And Inbo says this about a restaurant called Papa Grill which I thought was a very unique name for a restaurant. This Nifor with a cross on his face, I, by the way, I don't, I don't know what a Nifor is, if that is a curse word, I'm so sorry. This Nifor with a cross on his face infuriates me for the second time in a year with his womanish behavior. Where you just need to remain silent, he always inserts his two cents. The third time, I will definitely meet him near the service entrance and give him the butt. 
I think something might be getting lost in translation here because that phrase, I, I don't think it means the same thing in Russian that it does in English. However, I do think it's a very funny turn of phrase to think of hitting somebody in the face as giving him the butt. If you're gonna go fight a schoolyard bully and uh, you were like, man, I'm gonna give that guy the butt. Uh, that would not really intimidate me. Okay, next up we have um, something that I just noticed as I was scrolling around Siberia. I was zooming in on just random places, scrolling, zooming in, trying to find little small towns with places that have reviews on them. And I noticed this giant hole on the earth, on the map. Like a big, notable, like the size of a city hole on a map. So I zoomed in a little bit and I noticed there's actually an entire town there and it's an old mining town and this giant hole that you can see from space is a mine that mined diamonds for a long time. It just shut down. But you can see this thing from space and there's a city built next to it because it used to function as an actual mine. And the reviews on this giant hole on the earth are so good. So let me read you some. Ben says this, not the best golf course in the world, but worth a visit. That is very funny. Um, it's like Top Golf. This is basically Russian Top Golf, if you think about it. Jeffrey says this I threw my mother down the hole and it filled up pretty nicely, but I still hear her nagging. That's why it's not five star. Pretty good. He called his own mother fat in this review, claimed that he committed the crime of throwing her down a hole, but evidently she survived because he can still hear her nagging. And that's why he didn't give it five stars, which makes perfect sense to me. Now this person, Tobias, doesn't overtly admit that they've committed a crime, but he does say this. Great place, visited with my family, came home 459 pounds light. Now either he lost an excessive amount of weight, like Nikocado avocado amount of weight loss at this hole in like a day, or he threw his family down the hole. And I have to think it was probably the latter. And now perhaps my favorite review of the hole from Sean says this. I can't believe no one helped Simon's mom up after she fell. Simon, I am I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, hopefully your mother can meet other mothers who have been thrown down the hole and they can yell their nagging remarks up together. Next up is a grocery store in northeast Siberia and the grocery store is called Ariadna and it has some great reviews. Pablo says this, two stars, love you. That is uh, basically how my parents feel about me. They would rate me two stars publicly, and then they would text me, we love you. Metalurg says this, why so far? I thought I would get there from St. Petersburg in half an hour, but in the end, it took 80 days. He obviously was not riding the Trans-Siberian Railroad or listening to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which fun fact, if you listen to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra as you run across Siberia, it will improve your running speed 10 times. Don't fact check that, um, just go try it. Fly to one end of Siberia, start running and listening to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and you will traverse Siberia significantly more quickly than you might think. Or you'll die of hunger and thirst, one or the other, but worth a shot. Okay, now a review of another grocery store called Nika, which is literally like just right across the channel from Alaska. I mean, you might be able to swim there from Alaska. Atticus says this about his experience at Nika. Five stars. I like this place because they have whatever you need. You need vodka? They have. You need little rabbits rolled up in a babushka and smoked? They have. You want sunflower seeds? They actually don't have. If you want sunflower seeds, you have to go to Okhotnik. A very alarming review from Abdullah who says this. A question. When you arrive to such this place, can you see the other side? The boundary of America land. He then paints a picture with a map that shows how close this store is to Alaska and it's very concerning because I think that he might actually try to make the swim. That is very concerning. Abdullah, please do not do that. Especially considering Abdullah, whatever you need, you're not going to find it in America. You're going to find it at Nika. They have vodka, they have little rabbits rolled up and smoked in babushkas, they just don't have the sunflower seeds. Brian says this. During the pandemic, they ran out of toilet paper at the Walmart in Anchorage, so I decided to cross the strait in my fishing boat and see if they had any toilet paper here. Lo and behold, they did. 11 out of 10, store would get almost torpedoed by a Russian nuclear sub again. 
Thank you, Brian. I'm glad you found some toilet paper. Perhaps the best review that we could read of Nika comes from Yvette, who simply says this. And, and, to the end, when you are ready for a reason to go away and he is going on in his life, since we will pray tonight for the game on Saturday morning at 59, I have to be in his life since we will pray tonight and tomorrow morning at 1, I have had to do it was a pleasure to go away and he is going on in his life since we will have the dream team to be there for a good promise you tonight and tomorrow morning at 59.59. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much, Yvette. Lastly, I found a tiny movie theater on like the northern edge of northern Siberia, one of the most remote places on earth. Alberto says this about his experience at this most remote Russian movie theater, maybe the most remote movie theater on earth. Five stars. There was a very strange door in the toilets. It seemed like a passageway to a universe. I entered and found Cristiano Ronaldo smoking a cigarette camel. And he invited me to put five Siberian crowns into a slightly old and dirty slot machine. I didn't stop, and I added five to triple the number of grapes. I won a couple of movie tickets and an extravagantly flavored Coke. I recommend 100%. I like Shutuanga and its people. It's very hot, though. Bring a swimsuit to bathe in the public pools that are scattered throughout the shanties. What Cristiano Ronaldo was doing at this movie theater in northern Siberia, encouraging people to gamble on the slot machine in the back room so they could win free movie tickets, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. And perhaps he's still there. And so if you're a Ronaldo fan, I would encourage you to check out this movie theater. Maybe head up there and just go to the toilet, see if he's there. Um, chances are you could get a great meet and greet. I don't think a lot of people are visiting him up there. If you're still watching this, I love you more than Russia loves the cold and Russia loves the cold. It's the only way that they've survived um, several invasions is because of the cold. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the content. See you next Friday.